We believe that the songs were left behind by the ancients, the ancestors. It could be in a, a rock, a tree, a, in a pond or a lake. And um, if you're open, you've, you've trained yourself to be open to spirituality, you could be gifted with a song. Well, the songs are perceived as uh, gifts from the higher power. And they're, they're gifted to us for, for many purposes. Songs in, in all of humanity, they, um, they help us through um, the occasions of our life. The occasion could be a wedding, a celebration of a graduation, an accomplishment, uh, you know, puberty rites, a number of occasions in your life are celebrated in the song. When, when you hear the, our people performing in public, you might see maybe four or five or 20 singers and dancers on the stage. But when we're, when we're in a longhouse, there could be like 200 singers and there could be four separate songs going on at once in each corner of the longhouse. There's four separate songs in there. And they're not just tapping their drums, they're just wailing on their drums or singing at high pitch or really in a really high state of excitement and uh, celebration. And it's just amazing to witness. It really gets me. So when I wanted to learn a song, um, usually the elders would say, well, who are your parents? Uh, who are your grandparents? Then, then we started to have a conversation. And then I asked them, I, I really like this song, you know, and I'd like to ask permission to use this song. And I'd explain what we do with it, which is to sing in ceremony in the community, but also that we have a dance group where we go to schools and we share songs, we teach children these songs. Uh, we perform in front of international audiences. So we're sharing our culture and creating that awareness. I, I sort of believe that, you know, if there were no songs or music, we call songs medicine. I think that we would perish. <laughs>